Hey, how can I help you? What is that? I think it's a Latestaphone French horn. To be honest, I haven't seen one of these things before, but it looks like something right out of Dr. Seuss. Looks like a car horn to me. I guess it could have been used on a car, or more looks like something off a of calliope, maybe. Don't you think it would be built better? Maybe like a horse horn? We're all in agreement it's a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I brought into the pawn shop an antique French horn. I'm selling the horn today because I can't really do anything with it. I thought it was cool, but I can't put it anywhere. So let's see if I can get some money for it. So the horn I'm bringing in is not in the greatest condition, but I'm hoping that that doesn't matter just because it's so old and unique. That is definitely cool. What you have here is a really bizarre horn that might have been used on really high-end automobiles. When they first came out with cars, they didn't have horns. Even up through the 1950s, it was uh, sort of the thing to get aftermarket horns put on cars. Is there a date on it anywhere? Well, I had 1942. It wouldn't have been 1942. And the reason why, in 1942, France was occupied by Germany. They were not making fancy horns. They were making only war-related items. And we were definitely not importing anything from them because it was Nazi Germany at the time, and we weren't doing business with them. Mm. Hey, what do you want to do with it? Oh, I want to sell it. And how much do you want for it? $1,000. And how'd you get that price? I looked it up online, and I seen a few that were looked similar like that. So I thought, hey. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if one of these things would go for $1,000 in great shape. This thing is a world away from great shape. That's your problem. You have a horn right here that's missing and soldered over. Obviously, there was a hole or something right here happened because they put a bunch of lead solder over the top of it. It's rusted, it's bent, it's broken. And in great shape, I imagine there's a possibility they could go for $1,000. In this shape, nothing. But unfortunately, it's not for me, man. OK. All right, thanks okay, for bringing yeah, it in, though. No problem. Thank you. Chum, help some customers. Well, I was a little disappointed that he didn't even make an offer. So I'm going to actually take it. I'm going to put it online, and I'm sure someone's going to you know, take it off my hands.